new mental attitude, experience, good speed. He could give new heavyweights a lot of frustration. He'll try to give that to Jeremy Williams. With only 13 pro fights, already he is talking like he is a champion. He has power, speed, endurance, a lot of confidence. But what about his lasting power? His rival is gearing up to find out. And let's check out these two heavyweights on the tail of the tape. And as you can see, the 21-year-old Williams has the height and the reach advantage, but certainly not the weight advantage. Garing Lane, 36 pounds heavier. This is the lightest Garing Lane has ever weighed in the ring. He weighed as much as 279 pounds. In his last fight against Greg Payne, he was 269 pounds. This fight is scheduled for 12 rounds. It is a WBC Continental America's heavyweight championship, and these are the rules. No standing eight count. Three knockdown rule is in effect. You can be saved by the bell only in the final round, and it's uh, scored on the 10-point must scoring system. So we are ready for the introductions. Let's uh, go up to our ring announcer, Wally Jackson. Happy holidays, everyone, from the Palace of Auburn Hills. Art Palulo and Banner Productions in association with Fight Night at the Palace Incorporated is proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Continental America's Heavyweight Championship. Our referee is Sam Williams. The judges doing the scoring will be Rosemary Graybell, Bob Watson, and George DeGabriel. Introducing first, in the red corner, weighed in at 210 pounds. As a professional, he is undefeated. 13 wins, 10 wins by way of knockout. Wearing the green trunks, hailing from Long Beach, California, here is the undefeated Jeremy Williams. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the black and gold, weighed in at 249 pounds. As a professional, he has 11 wins, nine defeats, one draw, five wins by way of knockout. Hailing from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I give you Garing Lane. Watch your kidney punches, your low blows, your head butts. So my command to break, I want you to take a full step back with your hands up. Protect yourself at all times. In case of a knockdown, I'll send you to the furthest neutral corner. Remain there until I send for you. Good luck, man. Yes, he still needs the Richard Simmons tapes for Christmas, but uh, he is working on it. He's lost 20 pounds since his uh, last fight, the victory over Craig Payne, in which he weighed in at 269 and was outweighed by 32 pounds, but he has been in the gym working hard. Before boxing, uh, he started his pro career. Gary Lane tipped the scale at 350 pounds, but now he has a sense of hope. He has a team behind him, and uh, there are goals to be reached for Gary Lane. The first is to deal Jeremy Williams, Williams' first professional defeat, and this would certainly be a feather in the cap. I have a question for you, Sean. Who, who do you think is the favorite going into this fight? You would think, by looking at it, that Jeremy Williams is a favorite. And I think so, too. Jeremy, Jeremy Williams, undefeated, a sit appears to be on the upswing. A lot of uh, high hopes, surrounding himself with good old line boxing people, and he can fight. The best fighter, though, appearing on his first 13 fights uh, would arguably be Frankie Swindell, who put Jeremy Williams down before Jeremy Williams uh, knocked Swindell down and went on to uh, win a 10-rounder. Gary Lane has been in with the likes of Ray Mercer and uh, Riddick Bowe and Trevor Burbick and Ronaldo Snipes. He put Burbick down on the canvas. He also knocked down uh, and out Alex Garcia. He fought Mercer and Bowe very early in his career, and that's when he had no direction. He was uh, fighting in the 270 uh, weight category and uh, just thrown in to survive, he said, to earn a paycheck. And he lost a decision to Mercer in a close fight. He lost a close four-round decision to Riddick Bowe, which led to a rematch in a fight in which uh, he had Bo hurt, but didn't really know what to do with it at the time. Bo came on to uh, stop Gary Lane in the fourth. 
So uh, he certainly has had more experience. He two years uh, sparred with Razor Ruddock. He sparred with Riddick Bow. So uh, that is what is on the side, the side of the uh, Garing Lane. Well, I can see a lot's on both yeah. sides of Garing Lane. Very in that fight with Riddick Bow, he said, I had Bow out in the second round, and the referee did not give him a, a account. He said he let him stand up. He said he had him down on the canvas, said that he was robbed. Coming into this fight, Garing Lane is actually ranked ahead of Jeremy Williams. Garing Lane is ranked 16 by the WBC, and, and Williams has just cracked the top 30 at number 27. Yeah, there's some good movement from Jeremy Williams. He said he wanted to show some difference of, of his style in this fight. Wanted to show the versatility. Wanted to show more boxing, more extension on his punches, and not rushing in, seek and destroy, just get in there and war with his adversary. Well, as you heard him say, he prides himself as uh, being a heavyweight athlete, and the antithesis uh, in his mind is a Garen Lane. The Lane comes in with an excellent chin. Brad now getting antsy, not seeing enough action in this first. There's a long ways to go. This is scheduled for 12. We will pause for a word from your local cable systems. Uh, we are just out of the gate on USA's two. You're more than a for a fighter to be versatile. Look now as Jeremy Williams boxes around Garing Lane. Lane had expected Williams to jump right on top of him and try to take him out. That's why Lane's having some trouble at this point reaching Jeremy Williams. He was expecting nose to nose. It's scheduled for 12 rounds. It could be the long haul as far as uh, Garing Lane is concerned. A fighter who has the an excellent chin will test the punching power of Williams, who has 10 knockouts in his 13 wins. Williams has gone to past eight on just one occasion. Had that one 10-round victory over Frankie Swindell. Garing Lane has gone 10 on a couple occasions, losing to Ronaldo Snipes in a split decision, a decision which fans pelted the ring with debris once they heard the announcement, and in his last fight with the Craig Payne. A 300-pound heavyweight. One minute in to round number two. The fight with Ronaldo Snipes you talked about. He says, Garing Lane says, I won every round in that fight. The referee uh, knocked him down in the seventh. The referee uh, gave him an eight count. And there's no standing eight count in, in South Carolina. Well, there's no eight count in South, in South Carolina. But what a difference in his focus, anyway, not quite yet in his boxing inside the ropes. These fans want more punches from both of these. Jeremy Williams, who was a great amateur star, won two World Amateur Championships, two National Golden Gloves uh, Championships, and was a, a light heavyweight as an amateur at 173 pounds, so he is also in the process of learning the heavyweight game. Yeah, nicely reaching around to the body. With these heavyweights, a lot of them that are overweight, like Garing Lane is, and I know he's trying to get down, but you have to go for the larger target. Don't try to hit. Garing Lane is fast. He's quick. He's got a lot of jerky movements. To get that hit, try to go downstairs to the body. There's lots of it, and it's softer on your hands. Garing had expected Jeremy to come right straight in. Very patient, Garing Lane yeah. just waiting for Jeremy, Jeremy Williams to step back into the picture. A little a la Tommy Morrison against uh, George Foreman. Both the uh, fighters, of course, uh, managed by the same man, Bill Caton. Bill Caton saw what happened to a dream with Tommy Morrison. Uh, there are many who question why he would put Jeremy Williams in the ring at this point of his career with a, a Garing Lane. Tuesday night fights, heavyweights. On the left, Garing Lane. On the right, Jeremy Williams. And why is Garing Lane matched up uh, with Jeremy Williams uh, for this fight on the Williams uh, side? Well, because they believe they can beat Jer Garing Lane. Nobody steps into this ring thinking they're going to lose, including both of these heavyweights. Finally, you know, about the third round, these professionals start getting heated up. And this round, more action from Jeremy Williams. The nice overhand right. He says that is his best punch. Lane, the white
wife of uh, Garing watching on at ringside. And uh, she too has uh, certainly seen uh, Garing turn things around, the freight train, and uh, there is uh, the conductor right there. That's right, the conductor's outfit. Garing Lane, of course, has the uh, reputation of being a uh, just a sparring partner, the sparring partner syndrome, never taken seriously because of the extraordinary weight of the Garcia victory and knockout turned things uh, certainly in Garing Lane's mind, uh, maybe not in uh, others' minds in the boxing scene. And this is his, he knows, this is his real chance to prove that uh, he is in the picture. Jeremy Williams at 13 and 0, looking to step to a, a next level. And that is also a reason why he's in there against Garing Lane. He